Hey, I have a few questions for you. This is the world's costliest liquor called Diva Vodka. It costs a whopping $1.9 million per bottle. See the breathtaking packaging of the product. Do you think they can charge the same $2 million by selling the same vodka in this cheap looking bottle? This is the world's costliest perfume called Clive Christian Perfume. You need to shell out $215,000 to own a bottle. Once again, take a look at the kind of packaging used. Would you shell out $215,000 to buy the same Clive Christian's perfume if it were packaged in this cheap looking pill bottle? Forget about the world's costliest chocolate. Will you buy even a box of Ferrero Rocher chocolates if instead of using these elegant gold colored foils, they used cheap tissue papers to wrap their chocolates? I'm sure you wouldn't. But then why? Why would you refuse to pay top dollar for the same product if it is packaged poorly? It is because as humans, we form an impression about the quality of the product inside based on the quality of the packaging outside. We realize that great products need great packaging to sell their value. The same holds true for your business presentations as well. The only difference is in a business presentation, your slides are the packaging for your ideas. You may have the best of ideas, products and services. Your delivery style may be impeccable, but in a boardroom or a training room, what your audience sees first are your slides. If your slides look boring and ordinary like this, if your charts look clunky and confusing like this, no matter how good your content is, your audience will tune out. I've seen a number of businesses with truly innovative products being totally ignored by their prospects because their slides failed to capture their attention. I've seen a number of knowledgeable trainers and subject matter experts lose their participants because their slides looked intimidating and boring. Whether you like it or not, today the quality of your slides impact the success of your career and business. If you need your investors to invest in your company, if you need your prospects to do business with you, if you need your participants to understand your training, you need to know how to make effective and professional PowerPoint slide decks. After all, effective slides equals business results. That is why we have an entire section called PowerPoint Slide Design Mastery. This section has six segments. As you can see here, these are the topics of the six segments and the numbers here represent the number of videos in each of these segments. First, you will learn how to work with Slide Master so you can improve the look and feel of your entire slide deck from this one location. There are five lessons that talk about the topic. Then you will learn how to spruce up your slides with just a couple of clicks using design themes. We go quite deep here with 16 lessons. Once you learn the specific tools that affect the design of your overall slide deck, it is time to learn the four principles of professional slide design. Then you will learn three super quick hacks to improve the slide background design of your presentations. Then we will focus on how to master font design. You will be amazed at the kind of massive difference you can bring about in the look and feel of your slides by using the right kind of fonts in the right combination. This is a mini course with 26 lessons that go into every aspect of font design. Finally, we end this section with a collection of three hacks to enhance the colors of your slides. Let us quickly look at the key highlights of each of the six segments. First, let us go to the segment on slide masters. This is what we cover in this segment. Let me quickly tell you about this lesson on creating custom layouts. Whenever you insert a new slide, PowerPoint allows you one of nine standard layout options to choose from. What if none of these nine standard layouts meet your specific needs and you want to create your own custom layout like this to build your slides with fresh look and feel? Is it possible? I have a video tutorial in this mini course that shows you how to create your own custom layouts in a step-by-step -step way. What if you want all the slides created by your company to have a standard brand identity and design? Can you ensure that? 
Yes, I have a video tutorial that shows you how to create a custom master template with your own brand identity and design so any slide created by anybody in your company looks consistent. Let us say you have a standard format for your monthly reports. You just need to update the slides with current data to generate report for that particular month. Is there a way to save time creating such reports? Yes, you create your report once and save it as a template. The next time you just open the template and update your numbers. That's it. Now you can create your monthly reports in a matter of minutes instead of spending hours. I have a step-by-step -step video tutorial that shows you how to do that. So as you can see, the segment is packed with useful lessons. Next, let us go to the mini course on Design Themes Mastery. There are two sections under this mini course. They are Working with Design Themes and Customizing Design Themes. Almost anyone can teach you how to apply a design theme to make your slides look pretty. It takes just a click. You go to Design and then you choose one of the themes here like this and then the theme gets applied to your slide deck and your slides look pretty. But the problem is, these kind of design themes have been used so often by business presenters that they look cliched. The moment you use one of these standard design themes, your audience will get bored and they look away. If you want your slides to attract and hold your audience's attention, you should know how to keep your slides looking fresh, even if you use design themes. Unfortunately, none of the books or courses teach you how to do this. That is exactly the issue we address with these two sets of video lessons. One on working with design themes which has these lessons. You can pause the video and go through the content. And the other set of videos on customizing design themes which cover these lessons. Your traditional courses, books or workshops may teach you how to apply this design theme. After all, it is available as one of the standard options here. But then I show you how to extract this design theme pattern so you can use it in the way you want. For example, if you want to customize the color of this design theme, all you need to do is to go to home and then change and apply a different color. You can apply a preset if you need to, so your design theme pattern looks very different from the standard design theme that comes as part of the software. I teach you how to extract beautiful slide backgrounds from your standard design themes, beautiful textures from your design themes, and beautiful design flourishes like this from your design themes, and even beautiful graphical elements like this from your design themes. Now, how does it help for you to extract the various elements from your standard design themes? Let me show you. You can extract this texture from one of the design themes and combine it with this design pattern from another design theme and add this graphical element from another design theme and you can create this beautiful title slide layout. Now, even though you are taking the elements from the same old design themes from Microsoft, You've been able to keep your slides looking fresh because you've managed to put them together in a creative way. Your audience would never have seen this kind of a fresh combination of design theme elements. Now, no other course, book or workshop will teach you how to combine different design themes to create your own customized design themes. Now, take a look at another example. I have taken this background from a design theme and I have taken this design flourish from another design theme and I have put it together to create this beautiful design. The same way, I have taken this background from one of the design themes and this design flourish from another design theme and this graphical element from yet another design theme and I have created this title slide layout. Now, can you see the possibilities with this idea? No one else just no one else teaches you the kind of stuff that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program and this is one such example. Not only the title slide layouts, you can also create some beautiful body content slide layouts by picking elements from different design themes. Let me show you an example. You can pick graphic elements from different design themes like this card, this beautiful pin, and you can combine it with beautiful texture like this from another design theme and combine it with a design flourish from yet another design theme to create this beautiful slide layout. You can use this layout to talk about a quote or testimonial from one of your customers. Isn't this beautiful? 
It is creative ideas like this that sets your slides apart from the usual boring and mundane kind of slides that are used in the boardroom every day by presenters. As if that is not enough, in this particular segment, I teach you how to customize every aspect of your theme including fonts and colors to match your corporate theme. I'll also show you how to copy themes from other presentations you liked. I'll also teach you how to save your own theme for future use. I don't just stop there. I also teach you how to apply a consistent design theme across all your documents in your presentation folder, including your Word and Excel documents. And to add even more, I also provide you three downloadable PDF handouts for ready reference and even include four downloadable PowerPoint files with reusable design patterns, graphic elements, interesting textures and design flourishes all extracted from design themes of PowerPoint 2010 and 2013 for you to mix and match readily. Can any of those traditional courses and books even come close? Realize I don't teach you to create mediocre slides like the usual books and courses. I teach you how to create slides that you can flaunt in the boardroom or training room. Now let us go to the mini course on four key principles of slide design. There are 12 videos that explain these four essential principles of professional slide design. You can apply these principles to your existing slide decks and make them over in a matter of minutes. Then we have a super short course that gives you three quick hacks for professional looking slide background for your slides. The ideas are based on the four design principles you learned in the previous mini course. Next, we move to a unique course called Font Design Mastery. Most presenters are not aware of the kind of impact fonts can make on your slides. In this section, we have a highly focused course with 23 lessons that show how to use fonts to create designer slides and also a short mini course that teaches you three useful font hacks to liven up your slides. Right from five practical principles to choose the right fonts for your business presentations to where to find the right royalty free fonts for your headlines, body text and highlights to how to download and install those fonts to how to use them creatively, we cover everything you need to make a lasting impact on your audience with your font design. When you learn and apply the different principles, tricks and techniques to improve the font design that I teach you in this mini course, you would be able to take a plain looking boring slide like this to this level, to this level and even to this level and finally to this level. Isn't that beautiful? We then move on to the final segment called three awesome color hacks to lift up your slides. The hacks will help you make these default looking graphics into professional looking graphics like this. I will point you to free resources that will allow you to pick professional quality color palettes for your slides that will transform the look and feel of your slides right before your eyes. By the time you finish this section and practice the lessons, your slides will elevate from being the usual to professional. What is more, the principles you pick up in this section will be applied to the rest of the course so the slide design principles will end up being your second nature. Now can you see why I call Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program as the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training for business presenters online? It is a course that will change the way you look at and create professional business presentations forever. Let us move to the next video that explains the next section. See you there.